Uh, hello, how's it going, boys? What is up, Sora's back once again for yet another character impression. This time we have the newest grand character that was announced in last stream. Shut the fuck up, chat. Uh, we have Wemdus now. The the one character that a lot of people are looking forward to as well. So uh, let's see how uh, how broken she is, because she's probably is broken anyway. So, two thousand fifty five HP, fifty nine twenty five uh, attack, defense style stuff X. Yep, sure. Hydrozoa. That's a, okay. Unworldly water damage to a foe. Mitigate damage dealt to water allies at the end of turn. I'm hungry. I'm actually hungry too. So you know. No, no cab, I'm actually hungry as well. <laughs> Pick one I can chow down on. Pick one. Upon charge attack, consume this. Consume this! <laughs> Effect. To grant damage immunity to water allies. Normal damage is amplify. Triple attack is boosted, normal attacks deal 4 hit damage. Okay, so I'm choosing one of these and it lasts for a turn. So this is good for manual. Innocent toxin, 6 hit water damage to a 4 paralyzed effect, poison effect, raise tox toxosis. Toxosis level by 1, max is 10. Excuse me, auto activates upon taking damage. Oh, that's new. <laughs> Okay, so po you get poison and that. HP is lowered on every turn based on toxis toxosis level. Hmm, interesting. The Azure's Halo. Effect to caster. Oh, so she gets that. Defense is boosted, debuffs resistance, charge bar is gained upon taking damage, normal attack and CA damage dealt is partially absorbed to HP. So let me guess, this is 300%. <laughs> Joys of hard work. High HP, low charge bar gain. Has maximum charge bar of 200. Can only use charge attack when charge bar is at 200. Okay. Limitless Azure. Mitigate damage dealt to water allies until end of turn upon activating a fated chain. Yeah, it's V2 crap. <laughs> I guess this is going to be good for uh, Mugen, I guess. <laughs> Alright, what's this? So her... Alright, so it's unworldly is the same. Her damage mitigation is 5000. It's kind of nice. Um, so this one is... Um, is there like a fucking... When a skill is selected, blah 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 blah. Okay, so the drain is 15% charge bar from all allies and one charge diamond from a foe and transfer it to caster's charge bar. Max is 180. To, and it gives 20% fated chain bar? That's a lot of meter. <laughs> but yeah, fated chain though. Uh, then whatever, attractive vortex. I don't know which is which yet because I do not have the character. Uh, that gives... Removes all buffs from all other allies and foes. Wait, really? So you have all dispel shit like Sandal form for her as well? <laughs> okay. Nice. <laughs> and then the... Uh, what's that thing? Upon using charge attack, all allies just gain uh, unchallenged. And then consumes that thing. And then the other one is the Amplify Damage. The Amplify Damage is... Seraphic Modifier. It gets 50% damage amplified. Triple Attack Up. Oh, the Triple Attack Up is part of that. Okay. And then you get Normal Attacks deal 4 hit damage to random foes as well. When Tetra Force, when Tenta Force, not Tetra, Tenta Force is in effect. When this normal attack is counted as four damage. Oh, okay. All right, sure. Effects such as uh, such as Echo Supplemental Keen are applied to each damage instance. Okay, sure. So she's broken as fuck, like Poseidon, but 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 stronger. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, why are you this character? Fuck you. Okay, <laughs> Innocence Toxin is turn base damage. And max, so at max stacks is 100k. Is that the highest we've seen for like poison base shit? Looks really strong though. I don't think I've seen poison hitting 100k before. 100k, 100k, 
100k dot for poison. I don't remember seeing super super high numbers like that. Usually it's like five digits at most, right? Alright, this one. Yep, 300% defense. Yep, of course. That seems to be like the the the, the perfect number these days. Uh debuff immunity 200 percent boost to charge bar gain upon taking damage. Okay, restore HP or based on 10% of normal attack and charge attack dealt. So healing cap is 1000. Sure. Meh. EMP is. Seems kind, of, seems kind of like okay, but at the same time, it's like whatever. One skill cap, one CA cap, water attack. Lots of HP. Four fucking notes of HP. So much HP. Her base HP is fucking high too, isn't it? Fucking 2000, man. <laughs> Her base HP is 2000. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I guess I'll just get this, probably this, this four here. Yeah, I'll just grab this four. And then the rest I'll just put to either HP or defense or something. I don't know what. I mean, like, I mean, I can technically just use her for full auto apparently. I mean, this one is, this one is fucking strong, but I don't think you really need that anyway. This one is really, really good, but you get lots of damage mitigation shit. And then this thing she can tank really hard, but yeah, I mean, you get this as well, <laughs> but then again, no fatal chain in Guild War, so doesn't look like you really need the character, but yeah, this is the one, right? <laughs> All right, what we got? Thanks, blah blah blah. Okay. Oh, I can see why uh, Galen is actually stronger now. Okay. <laughs> ah, I see it now. Okay. Yeah, Galen's one is fucking stronger. <laughs> Galen's is 100% stronger. Galen's weapon is 100% stronger. Yeah. Yeah, because it says max HP. The keyword is here. Max HP. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, Galen is just basically you get all this. That's it. Full stop. There's no like make max HP or anything. You just get that. <laughs> That's why Galen's is so much stronger. Is this the new meta for water? I would say probably maybe 60 to 70%. I don't think it's like you you really need to go out of your way to get this shit. I don't think so. It doesn't really feel like that. It's still fucking strong, yeah, but like you need three of this shit. <laughs> You need three of this shit, but like at the same time, it's like, dude, I don't think you, you even have problems with water in the first place, even without this. I've already seen pictures that you, you they are reaching 100k HP and shit, so yeah. It's, it's, it's good and all, but like if you have only one or two, you ignore this weapon. <laughs> you only use this weapon, it's, a, it's like the same as Galleon, right? You only use this weapon when you have three. You do not have three, you don't. <laughs> Alright, let me buy a Mjolnir or Gale Block real quick. <laughs> I guess he's fucking now. All right. How does this work again? Okay, so first one is drain. This is the dispel everything. Oh, okay. All right. So just gonna ignore that for now then. Oh, her voice is in there too, huh? It's both her and the dragon voice. Oh, her damage sucks low. <laughs> Ow. Oh yeah, she's gonna counter like crazy, huh? Oh 
Yeah, she's countering like shit. Holy fuck, I forgot she does that. Yeah. So she's just gonna counter every fucking turn, yeah. And it's not like I'm gonna be consistently filled with barrier shit anyway. Ow. Debuff five times. Oh no! Alright, let's see. How much damage is MC going to get? Am I dead? Plus she has that mitigation a little bit, right? I'm probably dead, right? Yeah, I don't even have a lot of HP too. If I'm using Wemdu's good, maybe not. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to turn that off. Lol. Oh, sick animation, dude. Oof. 47k. Yeah, if I had 100k HP, it's actually not that bad, huh? I have to actually use this though. I need to use this to actually survive that by the looks of it. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I don't think it really matters. Ah, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll save that for that and see whether I survive it this time. No, I, I want to see the damage. That's the thing. I'm choosing to not uh, not do that because I want to try that shit, dude. I forgot to turn that off again. <laughs> People likes the the wet wendus, right? Eleven mil, huh? Oh, she didn't take damage. Oh, I think I have to do I have to guard, huh? I do not have her Ogi now. Damn. Uh, let's see we guard with Fatal Chain and see how much that is, eh? Let's see. Yeah, let's see how much is it. Oh, wait, I have no debuffs though. Ah, oh, you know what? Fuck it, let's try it. If my MC dies again, fuck it. <laughs> 800, nice. <laughs> mm, very cool. Go wild, man. 8 fucking 100, nice. Now MC is paralyzed though. That is nice. <laughs> I think that might be actually really useful for fucking Mugen shit though. Because that applies to everyone. Ow. Wait, how long is that anyway? Oh, three turns. Fuck me, dude. Yeah, it might be even multi hits though. But multi hit is gonna have the, the mitigation thing is still gonna be fucking good anyway. Ah. 
14 million. <laughs> 14 million OB, goddamn. Oh, hit 20 times? Oh, okay. So, this is the one that hits multi times, right? Was it this one? I think this is the multi hit one. Wait, which is the multi hit one again? <laughs> Is it the first or the second one? Is it the second one? Ah. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna get this belt, huh? Oh well, fuck it, let's try it anyway. Wait, so does it apply on the same turn itself? Or what? Oh, it does, right? So it's just on the turn itself, right? Mm. Jesus, that's a lot of fucking hits. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of goddamn hits, brother. That is nice, man. Yeah, dude, the S1 is fucking good. The S1 is like literally just for in case shit happens. Cuz you can either use the use that to like get the like high amount of hits or something in case cuz she does so much hits with that thing. Or you just get unchallenged altogether. It's fucking nice, dude. Good stuff, dude. Good fucking stuff. Ow. Oh, her nuke is now 4 mil. I think Wemdus can actually hit close to fucking 20 mil now. <laughs> right? There's 5 stacks now, right? MC is hitting 13 mil. <laughs> oh, it's 15 mil, damn. Fuck, man, that's still so fucking good, yeah. Like I can full auto guard with this though. <laughs> uh, it's okay, I guess. I don't think I want to full auto this at all. This, this full autoing this is fucking slow as shit though. She has nice animations though. <laughs> Her sprite animation is very. Uh, Floaty. <laughs> it's very floaty. I think she's gonna be really nice for for. I mean, I feel like I could actually use her for Guild War too. She might actually just be my full auto character as well, along with uh, either that or I don't know some other character, I guess. Yeah. She might actually be nice just because of the uh, the three three K, was it five K, damage mitigation thing. And then, I mean, the other one's not like we're gonna use it, but she's gonna be very, very tanky. 5k, yeah. So it's gonna be really nice anyway, especially if I'm not really using the fucking grid at all, by the looks of it. And then she's gonna spam this, so that's good. I mean, I feel like the, 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 this thing adds up pretty fast, right? But like, I don't think it really makes any difference. <laughs> right? I, I don't think the, the poison thing really makes a lot of difference, but it's kind of nice, I suppose. Because you're really only using this this off cooldown for full auto. Because this is not usable at all. Yeah, but the thing is, the war. I don't think is. I don't think is. Uh, 
allowing us to use that anyway. Mm. But maybe I think it would be gone by 25% or something. So I guess we can paralyze it at the end. So might be good. Yeah, might be good. No hostility? It's fine. I think it's fine because a lot of uh, bosses these days have like AoE attacks anyway. So it doesn't really matter too much. Okay, at least I managed to get her. So um, okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Can I get the fucking grid? Fine, fuck it, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I guess overall she's a pretty nice character. Huh? Pretty nice character. I think I'm just gonna do that though. After I max this too, I'm just gonna put in HP nodes, I guess. Because I have like six points left, so I can max out two nodes at least. I don't think she needs any more defense, man. Dude, I have 320% defense. <laughs> I don't think she needs that defense. I'll just give her more HP. Then again, I could even just give her attack, but I don't think her attack is really a problem, to be honest. I do kind of want to get her a different earring, but I do not have an earring, so that sucks. So... Oh, well. Yeah. Okay. Um. Wait, what am I here? Yeah, either way, I think that's pretty much about it, though. I don't think there's really much else for me to add for both characters, since I already tested for both John and her already. Yeah, she's just mostly for endgame stuff, really. She helps out a lot in endgame and uh, still relatively okay character in full auto. But I think the only problem with Wemdus in full auto is the fact that you need to... You need to... Have a lot of meter generation for her, though. I think she just needs a lot of meter generation, though. She's really bad in, like, setups that doesn't really give you a lot of meter. The problem with uh, Wemdus right now is that you... There's a high chance that we might need her from Ugen, that's why. That's kind of like the main reason why I went for it too. And Mugen is coming out like very very soon.